cabinet and I was there as a minister that the government ultimately intend to set up one medical college in every district. It should be done and it is a process but it should be done very on a fast pace because people need more doctors. Apart from setting up more medical colleges, it is also vital to create state-of-the-art health infrastructure across the country, particularly in the rural areas. The COVID-19 pandemic has accentuated the need for creating better health infrastructure and I call upon the state governments also to bestow special attention on this aspect. Two sectors should be given top priority, education and health. And more and more budget should be provided to these two sectors. Unfortunately, what is happening is a trend is the focusing on these basic needs of education and health. The successive government, I don't want to mention any government, this party or that party. Now I am a whole party, non-party. The people should focus their attention in bridging this gap by providing more medical colleges, creating more infrastructure. Without infrastructure, you cannot have a medical college. I am happy that the MCA has reduced those uh, requirements of 25 acres land. In an urban area, where do you get 25 acres? Particularly, you are going for multi buildings. What is required is the other infrastructure, the technical support that is required. On that, there should not be any compromise at all. Otherwise, one can be removed. My dear sisters and brothers, both medical education as well as treatment should be affordable and with the reach of the common man. That should be the aim of the government, that should be the aim of the people who are working in this field. I am told that nearly one lakh MBBS graduate pass out each year. However, not all of them would be able to join postgraduate courses. I am informed that to meet the Increasing demand for postgraduate medical education, the National Board has provided an avenue by permitting students to receive training at private hospitals. Yes, there should not be any much difference in the way and the world is moving faster. Who is private? I some often ask that question. They are not from outside, they are also part of our country. They should follow our system, regulations standards. And with these regulations also I tell people, these regulations should be only to regulate, not to strangulate. This has to be understood. We have to really see that more and more students get admission to not only to PG courses but also to the other. This thing, this is possible if private sector, private hospitals, under the strict supervision of the National Board of Examinations, which conducts periodic audits of every hospital. I am pleased to learn that NBE and ANBAE are working closely on various issues pertaining to postgraduate medical education in the country, like increasing the number of examiners and inspectors in NBE hospitals and extending the Accreditation validity from three years to five years. There is always the potential for conflict between the government regulator and the private bodies that it regulates. I am happy to note that the partnership between NBE and NBI is characterized by collaboration and teamwork for the larger benefit of the health sector in the country. I was happy when I was hearing Sajid say about the program that is being made in this regard. देखते रहिए डीबी भारती समाचार नजर हर खबर पर